Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a top 10 list of my top 10 Mario games. Um, all I can say is the Mario franchise is my favorite franchise ever. Um, a lot of amazing games out there for them. And, um, it's very great. If you don't like it, then, um, go jump over a bridge. Um, number 10, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, an amazing RPG. It's um, one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. And um, the graphics are great for the Super Nintendo. Lots of secrets in this game. Very fun, very enjoyable. enjoyable. The battle system was revolutionary. And it's a lot better than Final Fantasy, in my opinion. Number 9. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, I used to like take this game over to my friend's house and... Um, and play it, and we put it on multiplayer, and it would be a lot of fun. We really enjoyed playing it. Um, like, this is, this is the game to bust out at parties. Um, number eight, Mario Party 4. Me and my big brother used to play this game all the time. Um, this would have been on my top ten GameCube games, but I forgot about it at the time. <laughs> but, um, um, but an amazing game for parties. Even my big brother loves this game, um, and he's in college, and, um, this is a fun game to play with a bud, and, um, one of the best games on the GameCube. Um, number seven, Super Mario 64. Now, before you shoot, shoot me in my foot, let me just tell you, I'm not as big of a fan of this game as most people are. Still love the game, though. Still a great game, but, um, I, um, just not as big of a fan of it as most people are. Um, one of my favorite N64 games, um, don't love it as much as other people do, though. Um, number six, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. This is one of the best handheld games ever made. One of the best Game Boy... This is the best Game Boy Advance game ever made. Um, the graphics for the Game Boy Advance are great. Everything about it is just amazing. Um, one thing I'm not very fond about is the controls, but it's still um, amazing games. Lots of puzzles to figure out. Very great. Number five. Yeah, five. Um, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In my opinion, this is the best game on the DS. And it's the best game ever put on a handheld. It's an amazing RPG. Lots of secrets, lots of fun. You're able to play as Bowser. You're able to play as Mario and Luigi, of course. And, um, it's a very fun game. You get lots of powers, and it's a really long game. There's lots of mini-games, puzzles to figure out. It's an amazing RPG. Number four, Super Mario Galaxy. This is definitely one of my favorite Wii games. The reason why I didn't put it on my top ten is because um is because I thought there are plenty of great games on the Wii besides Mario. If I if um like this would have been on my top ten Wii games. However, there there um I do think this game is the, if I did put this game on the top ten Wii games list, this would have been at number three and. Sonic and the Secret Rings would have been booted off the list, but, um, don't know why I didn't put it on here, on there, but, um, an amazing game, great 3D platformer, one of the best games on the Wii, one of the best games ever created, one of the best games of all time. Um, number three, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. An amazing RPG, lots of secrets, lots of characters, lots of moves, lots of fun. Um, the boss battles are great, um, and it's just an amazing RPG, one of the best GameCube games ever created, and, um, this is definitely, like, a top ten all-time favorite. Um, number two, Super Mario Galaxy 2. An amazing, amazing, amazing game. This game is... I got this game at day one launch. And it's one of my favorite games 
ever. This is definitely like a top three all time favorite. I mean, um, amazing game. It's just so colorful, so fun. Just like all the different types of Yoshis, like running Yoshi, regular Yoshi, flying fat Yoshi. It's just so much fun. Like, just play the game. I don't care if you're 3 or 20. Just play it. It's a lot of amazing, lots of fun. Number one, my favorite game ever, Super Mario Sunshine. Amazing, amazing game. This is just like, this game was just so much fun. I just had so much fun with this game. And like I've played it in my childhood, played up to this day. And um it's got it's the only Mario game with voice acting. It's got fun boss battles. Flood is fun to use. And um like the controls for Flood are a bit slippery but still a great game. The camera angle's not that good, but this game is still just my favorite game ever created. It's um um, the reason why I think it's better than Galaxy 1 and 2 is because, um, you just gotta give it, you just gotta try it, you just gotta, you just gotta try, try your hardest, set your mind to the goal, and you'll do it. In Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, you, you just make mistakes and fix them. You just gotta, if you keep on doing the level over and over again, you'll get it, but in Super Mario Sunshine... You gotta put some effort into it, and it's just um lots of amazing fun now um so there's so um there's my list Super Mario r p g and Super Mario Bros Wii, Mario party four mario sixty four super mario Mario Luigi superstar saga. Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Super Mario Galaxy, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario Sunshine. Now here's some honorable mentions, some games that just missed it. Super Mario Bros. 3, one of the best games on the NES. Super Mario All-Stars, a bunch of cult classics in one. Super Mario World, one of the best games on the Super Nintendo. New Super Mario Bros. Um, one of the best games on DS. One of the best 2D platformers. Mario Clash, the second best um, virtual boy game. I enjoy playing this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Super Mario Land, amazing game. One of the best on the Game Boy. And um, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, an amazing RPG. The other Mario and Luigi games are way better, but still a great game. So, there you go. There's my list. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.